Welcome back to Facebook Net. Today, I'm going to show you an interesting configuration. I'm going to show you guys how to hide a program from the control panel or from the setting menu. So if you could see my screen here, so you can see the Google Chrome is installed. So if I go to my control panel, I should be able to see under the install programs and features, I can see Google Chrome is being installed. Also, if you go to apps and features, if you search Chrome, or even if you just don't search, if you list down all the programs, you should see Google Chrome in here. So, how do we hide these uh, installed applications from the control panel or from the app features? So, I'm going to show you guys how to do that task. But before we go into, we have to understand how does this work. So, when you install an application, we create some registry files. So, let's understand how does these registry files are created and what happens when they create the registry file. And there are different types of registry files created in different locations. So, it has a reason why we create in different locations. So, let's go back to the registry. So, how you can open the registry? So, you can go to start and type regedit.msc um, and you will see the registry editor. So if you go to the registry editor, you will find a couple of different registries. So I'm going to focus on the local machine, um, under the local machine one, and also I'm going to um, focus the current user one. So let's first see the local machine one. So if I expand the local machine one, you can see softwares, right? Under softwares, if you go under uh, Microsoft here, yeah, right? And if you go under Windows, right? If you scroll down and you go to Windows, right? Here we go, Windows, and then under current uh, versions and under uninstall. So if you see under uninstall, you can see some programs, right? If you scroll down to uninstall, right? So you can see list of programs here. So these are a general list of programs for all users of a device which means like the people can see from this computer as in all the users can see it right so this is one set of an application registry created when you install an application for all users on the computer similarly we can go to a different location for 64-bit um, uh, applications right so the 64-bit applications are not under here the 64-bit applications are if you go under softwares, right, what WOV 6432 not, right, and then we can see Microsoft. And if you go down to Microsoft, if you drill down Microsoft, you will see Windows. It's quite similar to the previous one, but you will see that's it. Windows current version similarly, and then you will see uninstalls, right. So under uninstall, again, you can see list of program and you can see Google Chrome. This is um, the application. This registry has applications, um, entries about x86 applications installed on a 64-bit uh, Windows build, right? So that is like a 64-bit Windows computers and we have installed 32-bit or 64-bit applications. Similarly, if you want to see an application, say sometimes when you install the application, you will install to a single user, right? So there was registries are created under current user <coughs> go under software uh, sorry here yeah, softwares right and then microsoft windows right then you can see current version and you can see uninstall right right so this is where we have application installed for specific user that's mean only for that single locked in user so for you see this is a single user and if I have installed an application only for that user, you will see those applications listed under this uninstall. But I don't have anything installed for single user, so it's all going into the common user line. Right. So based on this idea, now I need to hide the application for every single user or single user. So if you want to hide for a single user, go under current user and then do it. So if you want to hide it for all the users, we can go back to the 
local machine, not for the current user. So let's go to the local machine. So my Google Chrome is installed here. And also you can see before we do all the changes, we can see, I can see Google Chrome here. When I search Google Chrome, I can see the list here. And also if I go to control panel, I should be able to see Google Chrome, right? Let's confirm that I can see Google Chrome from the control panel. So go to Google Chrome and I can see Google Chrome here, right? Now I'm going to hide this one. For me to hide this, I'm going to go into my uninstalls, right? So I'm going to go down all the way current and Google Chrome. So here I'm going to create a new registry file. The registry file name is, is a S32, oh, sorry, D word 32 bit, but the, the name of the registry or the parameter of the registry name is called system component. So this system component, the parameter name is to hide a specific application from installation list. So that's a Microsoft one. So let's create a new system registry, right? I'm going to create the new system registry called hide. So I'm going to create an D word and I'm going to name it hide, uh, sorry, system component. And I'm going to set the value for this to number one, right? So click OK. Now we have created. All you have to do is now just refresh by just pressing F5. Right. So I've refreshed the screen. I'll go back to here. You can see it's disappeared. If you search Chrome, no, it's not there. Let's go to the control panel. Programs, programs and features. And we can see the Google Chrome is hidden, right? So this is how you can hide a program. If you wish to hide a program, you can simply go and create this registry and you can hide it. Keep in mind this, I have done it for single user, but if you want to do it, you can do the same thing through PowerShell, right? So you can open the PowerShell and you can create a PowerShell command called reg add, and then you can go to the same path, right? So the path called HKLM. So um, local machine software then the path and then you can just add the value and you can create a registry file to hide these applications right so there are multiple ways but this is one of the easiest way because you got access to a, a GUI and you can just work on it so I hope that helps you guys to do some changes on your Windows 10 machine if you wanted to hide some application from some users um, also, you can do it through maybe GPO, right? So if you want to do that through GPO, I'll show you guys how to do this one through a GPO in another video. All right. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to Faceit.net. Uh, I'll keep on posting some interesting more videos. Thanks.